everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pitfall The Lost Expedition. In this episode, we found Bittenbinder and Leech. Bittenbinder has a broken arm, and we also learned the reason why they're actually, they came to South America in the first place, which is to rescue a friend of theirs and Nicole's father, Professor Mc... Professor McAllister? No! Oh, that jump's pretty hard to make, but yeah. Oh, but there is an idol up there I want. Dang it. Up, oh, back up we go, I guess. Although... We could also just cheat the system by jumping over here. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. I figured it would once I did that. It, well, I mean, I guess I could just keep jumping down there until it kills me. That probably isn't even worth it at that point. Might as well just come up here. But, um, yeah, if you... Oh, that's not going to be enough. Damn, maybe I should just... <laughs> it would save myself a lot of issues, but I'd take two. Well, you know, I'll just do it. Screw it. It makes my life easier a little bit. A little tiny baby bit. So yeah, we also found out um, that it's Nicole's father we're trying to save. And then he went missing six months ago. And Bitten Blind is filled with guilt because he was supposed to be his guide. And then he said he was busy. Or at least that's when he tells himself to help him sleep at night. <laughs> you see my back breaks? So yeah, there we go. Now it's finally back to where we started the level. I swear, if I... Okay, I was gonna say, if I fall down, it'll be super sad. Look at these skeletons. Look at these low-def skeletons. What's with that in games? They always have like really low definition skeletons. Look at that four fingers. That's stupid. <laughs> it's like little clients. It's like meh. It's really weird. Like the, it, it's almost like it's gripping the side of the wall there. Yeah, these are like little tombs and we're grave robbing. Gotcha. Look, all these bones are gone too. I guess maybe storms and winds probably do them out. And it was February. Kind of spooky as there's bones down here too, but they're ain't. They're ain't. I don't know why I just said they're ain't like that. That's stupid. Let's, um, this! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, I couldn't even jump there. That would scary. So, now there's nowhere left to go, so we're now gonna head backwards. And yeah, with the Rising Strike, we can't just do this little jump attack, so I kind of force to get a Rising Strike. Um, grab myself some water. <laughs> what the heck? Did I just... What was that? Did you see something? With the snakes here? Whoa! So yeah, <laughs> considering this is uh, over the show, well it's not over the show, I guess it's just a third person. Look at his little old face, like ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, good lord, okay. So we can actually sweep, kick him out, and then punch him. Oh no, what the heck? Oh, uh, cause, I guess because they were jumping. Oh yeah, double kill. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Alright, let's go back this way. I mean, I didn't definitely didn't need to kill those guys, but you know, I like having fun by killing people. It makes my life feel complete. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Alrighty then. So, now if we take a look at our slingshot. Oh, actually, I guess it's kind of obvious. It kind of points to that. Gonna, you can shoot really quickly, actually, which is that was one thing. If you just mash up and down the sea stick, you just shoot millions of bullets. <laughs> uh, it might be hard to see unless you're watching full screen. But I was shooting like five a second or something stupid like that. And yeah, he might switch trains for some reason. If you can see the ground, one falls won't hurt you. Nope. Wait, wait, I guess we could do this. Whee! That's not as long as I thought it would be. Oh, I love that. It's so awesome. <laughs> Alright, where's the exit here? This away! Alright, well, let's go save the cow. See, one thing that you might be like, well, I don't know where to go now. So you could go to your map and then be like, hmm, where could I go that I now have the slingshot enabled? Well, you'll see there's a slingshot symbol on the altar of Hutaka. <laughs> also, the X is pointing to where we need to go, so that's pretty obvious too. Um, so yeah, let's go see if we can figure out where to use our slingshot. Oh! Huh? Don't remember this cutscene. What a butthead! He broke my neck! I'm dead now! <laughs> How about that? It's you again. Quick claw at your service! Ah, there's where you You said you were given the power of speech by a sorcerer, right? As a reward for my years of selfless service to underdogs, under cats, under explorers, and under tourists. Pretty cool if I do say so myself, which I can since I can talk. Maybe he could use his magic to help me find these people I'm searching for. <laughs> Listen, uh... Harry, 
Some people call me, uh, <laughs> Pitfall Harry. Listen, Harry. Some people call me Pitfall Harry. You don't want to meet this guy. Trust me. What's his name? If, if you're looking for your people, I think I saw one east of here. Help! Can anyone <laughs> hear me? Hmm. I don't know if I can see the slingshot on his pants now. Oh, look at this. Cutscene to show you exactly what to do. Which is, you know, is pretty fair because this is kind of a very obscure puzzle. I almost feel like these guys probably weren't originally here. But they were like, hmm, that is pretty obscure. Maybe we should put a little tutorial in. So there we go, a little tutorial in. <laughs> there we go, punch those guys, punch those guys. Uh, we are gonna go to the healing spring. Guys, we're actually coming up to our first boss battle. Weird, uh, right? Already on part four? four. Yeah, part four. Yeah, that's the part. That's the part. Don't part the part, baby. Part the part. So, if you just. Whoa, spam it! I hit it twice, I think. I think that'll do it. Right? Nope, one more time. I lied. Actually, that still might be able to work, but you know, just to be safe. What was that? Oh, it just looked like there's something like up the ledge just above my head there. But no, there was not. I'm being a crazy head. I'm so crazy! <laughs> Alright, plane engine. Propeller. I only has one left. The mouth of Inti. I love the names of this too. I wonder if these like, they're actually like references to anything. Oh, there's a healing spring right here. Oopsies. Well, better safe than sorry. Hello! Ooh, oh. Can you not just climb up? I think you'll be able to pull yourself up. Help! What are you doing up there? I'm doing research on the chlorophyll content in tropical foliage. Now get me out of here! Use your sling! What? Say please. Please get me out of here. Please get me out of here, you gorgeous hunk. Please get me out of here, you gorgeous hunk, so I can kill you. Close enough. <gasps> Pitfall Harry, doing a little bird watching? Certainly is an interesting bird. Well, if it isn't Jonathan Saint Scum, I mean Saint Clair. Good one. I always loved your quick tongue. Remind me to cut it out sometime. Tortured any natives lately? Isn't that how you found Inatuk's tomb in Egypt? <laughs> you may have won that round, Harry. But this time, I play for keeps. Too bad that isn't a game. This is, like, besides the, like, Atari games and Pitfall Whoa, what the heck? Yeah, he giggles a lot. Um, <laughs> this boss battle is actually really easy. All you gotta do, especially when you know you can spam the slingshot, gotta knock out the things that blow him and... I mean, not in any particular order. Like, I didn't knock that one down. Whoa! Whoa, he almost, he still almost hit me. I didn't knock the one down because he's standing on it. I was just... I, um, just coincidence's sake. <laughs> He's like, come at me, bro! Uh, can I get hit him with the slingshot? Oh, I'm actually curious. <laughs> it stuns him. That's cool. Oh, wow! I did not know that actually... That seems kind of effective. Uh, what the heck? Why did he even... Why did you even, dude? Like, wow, this is not really working how I wanted to. Dang it! Come, okay, just, just get off. Oh wow, he blows us up. Oh, I thought that was already knocked. That one was already knocked. Oh, there we go. Uh oh, this isn't going too well for you, Saint Claire. I always thought that was kind of a girl name. Well, I guess Claire's a girl name. Whoa, he threw two at me. And for some reason, I didn't take any damage at all. That's weird. But okay, I'll take it. Uh oh, that's not going to end well. Holy crap. I feel like that would be a lot more fiery than that, but okay. <laughs> Huh. So there you go. Hello. Hello, sexy woman. I'm here to save you. There's pickaxes on the ground. Is that a hatchet as well? Oh, it's just an axe and a shovel and a hammer. What is this freaking Minecraft minus the hammer? Since so you know there's kind of no hammers. Anytime you want to get me down would be good. So this is what I don't get. She's in a like a parachute, but it's a backpack. Could she not just slip out? I'm like, well, you don't want to fall. She falls anyways. 
Thanks for the moral support during the fight. Couldn't have you die. Dead How would I get out of the tree? Next time you get stuck, just call my name. I'll be sure not to come. Look, I've read every book there is in this jungle. I know it infinitely better than you do. Just from reading? It's easy. I'll teach you sometime. That's okay. I realize you need to put me down to hide your love. Can you put your delusions on hold? I want to study these ruins. <laughs> After you're done, head back to camp. You can follow the gizmo tracks. I want to check out that cave St. Clair escaped through. I could use some light, though. If I give you this, does it mean you'll leave? Leave you? That's a great idea. Why? Why? Why would I just jump into a pool that I didn't even investigate? I just jumped in. See, I don't know where this goes, but okay. As soon as I saw St. Clair, I knew that the bad news was only starting. And what was worse, Nicole gave me the cold shoulder. At least with her torch, I'd be able to burn through those spider webs to the west, keep the rescue mission going, and maybe find out what St. Clair was up to. Yep, so the torch actually unlocks quite a bit, which is weird. I mean, normally in games, you just picture a torch just kind of lighting the way. But it actually, like, a lot, there's a lot of spider webs in this mm, game. Mr. Gunpowder, meet Mr. Torch. Oh, snap. Lights is on fire. It takes so long. Let's just, let's just stand on it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot it takes two hearts of damage for whatever. Or two blocks of damage, I guess. Two, like, Minecraft blocks. Lighting gunpowder is seriously the most satisfying thing. Wow, it is really hard to see. What's the lag might? I don't see. Oh, okay. You can very, very faintly see it. Wow, it's dark. This is not as light in the dark as I was hoping it would be. Oh, there's the next one. Wow, it's so dark. What? Uh, all right. I kind of see where we're going now. That's it? I thought there was more of this place than that, but okay. The alt. All right. Okay, so this just brings me back. Did you guys see those spiders? Like they're, uh, they're over there. I swear I saw them. <laughs> so there you go. I'm just light those. Now we're up here. Oh, maybe I saw this. Like when I was saying, I, was there something over there? And when I like looked up here. That was this episode, right? Yeah. Maybe I, maybe I actually saw like up there or something. Oh, whatever. Um, The way forward is actually this way. Over there, the spider web. You can see it just above me here. Whoa! That guy scared me. I was like, what the heck was that? <laughs> What's moving? Oh, we might as well jump in this healing water here, I guess. There's actually things oh, we can go yeah. back and do now, so why don't we start with that, maybe? We Oh, 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 oh! Crap, I did not see that. Well, do I want to go back? Maybe not. Maybe we should just keep moving forward. Well... Yeah, we'll keep moving forward, I guess, and collect stuff as we go. Because we would have to go quite far back to get some things. And it's only, like, idols and all that. Although there is an explorer we saw in a cave before with a spider web. That was like at the beginning of like episode two. No, maybe episode three? Maybe it was episode I think it was episode two. The battered bridge. Yay! Thing is, there's no real good quick travel in this game. Well there is, but it's very far into the game, so. Hmm. Where are you guys running from? Whoa! It's a gorilla! Oh no. What have I done? What have I done? Oh! Holy crap! Whoa! That was awesome and really scary. So yeah, Mama Gorilla over here will actually leave you alone! As long as you don't have the baby monkey on you. Alright, just, just punch me. <laughs> oh man. So the only way to really deal with this is I think you could knock out the baby monks. Is there anything down here? Oh, it's a shaman! I forgot about this guy. Alright. There's a lot of things in this game where like, I think there's something in this general area, but I don't know what it is or where it is. Uh, 12 idols, hey. Smash strike, super swing. I think... It'd be in my best bet to get the smash strike. The, the quicker you unlock the moves, the better. So when you come across things you need them for, you know? Smash strike! This move lets me do a mighty downward smash during a double jump, crushing enemies directly below me and smashing through some terrain to reveal treasures. Very useful in combat where there's a lot of jumping involved. So yeah, let's purchase it. 
We receive the Smash Strike! Now you can squash those annoying scorpions among other things. To do it, complete a strike, well double jumping. Whoops, I cut off my dance. So yeah, there we go. Double jump and then B. Yeah. Now, I believe to take care of these pesky monkeys. Right? Monkeys that are pesky. Monkeys that happen to be pesky. I know you're around here somewhere. Whoa! Uh, look at- oh. <laughs> Well, totally gonna die. See if I could- See, he's dancing around. Oh, no, you can't knock him out, that's right. So you just gonna kinda have to put up with these guys. Um... There's a bird there. That'll be useful in the next episode. Because we're doing one of the most one of my most feared idols of this game already. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like if you're already. I'm gonna do more journal stuff right now. Yeah. See, I had a baby monkey on me there, but since I went off screen, it disappeared. Actually, no, the mother gorilla just punched me, so never mind. Uh, so off to an old journal. Two more entries. Okay. Hopefully, this won't be long. January 25th, 1935. 11.41 a.m. Ran to the talking jaguar again. Guess I wasn't imagining things before. Turns out his name is Quickclaw. Tried to get this, the skinny on this sorcerer he was talking about, since he might be able to help out, but he seemed pretty evasive on the subject. He did, however, direct me to head east. Said there was someone in trouble that way. So, being the good Samaritan that I am, heading that way now. For a second there, I was like, there's someone good, or there's someone I need to help that way? And I was like, oh yeah, this is before I saved Nicole. January 25th, 1935, 12 p.m. Found Nicole stuck in a tree and was about to get her loose with the sling when, uh, when who should show up? My old friend, Jonathan St. Clair. Freaking St. Clair, what a butthead. I have no idea what he's doing here, but whatever it is, I'm going to beat him to it. He attacked me with TNT like always, and like always, I kicked his butt. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, he had some native helping him. He did? But I didn't get a good look at him since they both took off so quick when I... I what? I didn't not notice that when I put the smack down after the fight. I got Nicole down. Still cold as ever. She didn't even thank me for saving her. I'm starting to wonder if she's worth the trouble. But I did get a torch out of her that I just put into my backpack while it was still on fire for some reason. Should be able to use that to head west and keep looking for explorers. Um, I guess that's it. But oops, not the hint. I always go to the hint by accident. Do you have anything new and be? Beast, yeah, we do. Bats. Uh, Mega Monkey. Holy crap, bats. Bats! Aw, oh, so cute. When these blood suckers swarm on me, there's only one way to get them off. Now bust out the torch and start waving around like a madman. They'll sc uh, scare them off for a bit, but they'll always come back for more, so they usually keep moving. So, yeah, they usually keep me keep me moving. So, yeah, there was actually bats in that cave we were just in with a torch. Uh, I just swung around the torch, and when they catch fire, then they fly away, and they come back. Mega monkey bomb! Wow, scary. With a flower in her head, it's funny. She's the queen of the jungle. Completely unstable, incredibly powerful, and permanently pissed off. <laughs> I love that. I love how they say pissed off in this game. It's so great. And if one of her babies latches on me, she'll get mighty jealous and rush over to put the smack down. So while the babies may be cute, I'm best off running if I see one. My only chance against them is TNT, although I can hold them off... For with a break dance or the pickaxes. I don't have either of those. So yeah, that's the pissed off monkey mom. Sorry, I just got a phone call at the end of this. I really wanted to freaking do this with, I wanted to do this without entering it, but I had to. Mega monkey baby! Oh he's so cute. Oh how cute these babies just love to frolic and play and are so affectionate they always want to give me a big hug whenever they spot me and for some reason they're wearing diapers. When they do it, it catches the attention of their mom and makes her angry. And I won't like to see her when she's angry. Oh, that's cool. A Hulk reference. I forgot about that one. And I have the torch. It was weird. That's all the way down there. But okay. Um, mm -hmm. Not much more than a stick of wood, but this thing should see me through my darkest hours. Yes, pun intended. But specifically, I could use it to light my wind dark caverns like gunpowder and burn away those annoying spiderwebs. Not bad. Alright, there we go. So, that's the end of this episode now for Beelzee's... Oh, oh, yeah, we already read that. Well, we do got a smash strike now. Does it say anything different? Oh, there it is. From the heroic handbook. A long-forgotten Nordic Viking king... Or Viking named Lars the Forgotten... First attempted the smash strike in 1467 AD... While trying to break open a coconut... His cousin had brought him from vacation in the New World. 
Of years of looting and pillaging, Lars honed the technique of the sm of smashing things on the ground that normally can't be hurt, like scorpions and porcupines. But he never did get that coconut open. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, now for real, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, talk to you guys later. <laughs> bye bye.